everyone, today we are at one of the PUB legal fishing ground, Pandan Reservoir Fishing Deck. This is one of the two decks that is allowed for fishing. So we're going to share uh, what are the techniques and what are the kind of lures that is suitable for fishing in these two decks. So stay tuned. Okay, basically, from my experience, most of the fish are hugging quite close to the rocks. And if you are not, if this, if this is your first time here, and you're not quite sure what kind of lure to start with, I suggest that you try a soft plastic with a jig head. The size of the soft plastic can be around two inch to about three inch. And then what you want to do is to cast and fish along the side of the rock, parallel to it. Okay, you let it sink and then you just slow retrieve. Gentleman is pretty good size. Okay, it's good that he's going for the deeper water. Oh, decent, very decent, very decent size. I'm going to release the track a little bit. Okay. Look at that! So basically just now when I was casting along side of the banks, I had like a snack. I managed to free the snack and then immediately after I freed the snack, this fish decided that uh, this particular saw plastic is too good to be missed. He decided to have it for breakfast and that's how we caught the fish and now we're going to quickly release the pickle bass. Bye bye! Yes! On this side of the fishing deck Facing the main body of water is a lot much deeper. Um, you can still use your soft rubber or uh, soft plastic to fish, but maybe you need to uh, let it sink to the bottom, uh, have a slower retrieve, and maybe you need to do a, what we call a lift and hop. Hopefully the fish is there. The other option is that uh, what I will normally use just to find out if the fish are active or if they are around in this area is just to use what we call a mini crankbait you can use a 4 to 5 cm crankbait depth, uh, swimming depth may be up to about 2 to 2.5 meters um, and then um, colors that I find that is very good over here is like a bright colors especially the water here is not very clear it's kind of like a um, dark color so Let's try. The 
other thing that you need to take note is that if you watch carefully there is a lot of uh, ropes that is anchoring this deck down to the bottom so when you retrieve you have to be careful and watch the ropes where are the ropes are so try not to retrieve it too close to where the rope is This is the second fishing deck, the smaller one. The estimate distance from the bigger one is about uh, 1.7 kilometers away. So <clears throat> we will also try to fish here <clears throat> and see how it goes. To fish this area is quite similar to the uh, bigger fishing deck. I will always start to try to fish along side of the rock and um, since the soft plastic has been proven to be successful this morning so I'm going to use this again Yes! Got it! Ah! Drop! Ah! Small little pickle bass Okay, but it shows that the soft plastics uh, something that they won this morning unfortunately the hookup wasn't really fantastic but at least uh, I got them to uh, manage to get them to bike so I'm going to try again I find that the water is a little bit deeper here compared to the last fishing jetty so I'm going to use a mini crankbait again to try to fish the deeper end of the drop-off to see whether there is any big bass lurking around. Yes! Oh man, that is huge! That is really huge! Unfortunately, it took so close that I haven't had a proper hookup. But that is a huge bass. Something that normally, from my own personal experience, is like I know there's a lot of guys fishing here. Legal grounds are quite highly pressured. But on the other hand, I also know that uh, a lot of anglers tends are afraid to use a mini crankbait <clears throat> because you do get snagged up quite easily. Which means that um, the fishes here, which most of our, uh, the anglers catch and release, they are not quite used in seeing mini crankbait so that is the reason why when I see that the condition today and the water level is quite high there's a chance for it to use I was kind of confident that uh, something would like the mini crankbait so although I've lost the big fish I'm still going to persist for a while more with this mini crankbait Yes! Okay, decent sized fish, I hope. Huh. Doesn't feel like a pickle bass. Oh, yeah, it is a pickle bass. Not a bad size. Okay, Superman. Hey! Oh, 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 oh! Ah! 
mistake by myself. It went to the rope and then the dislodge away, <laughs> unfortunately. So guys, when you are fishing here and when you're about to land a fish, I just realized that there is ropes underneath here. There's one here, there's one here. So I was about to keep the fish in this direction, but I was losing my focus because I was taking out my grip. So the fish was very clever. It made a last minute ditch and then my lure caught on to the rope and I lost the fish. But I'm glad that I can show you that crankbait does work. As I was um, fishing near the rocks, my friend Ryan was actually playing around by the side of the jetty nearer to the deeper end and he was just casting and retrieving and letting the lure fluttering. This big mama decided to take his lure. What a beautiful pickled bass. Well done, Ryan. Thank you, thank you. Awesome. Caught it on a countdown elite. Check it out. Swallowed the whole thing. Alright guys, we have covered two legal fishing areas in the west and uh, I hope that you will benefit from this sharing. So basically if you have a chance to go down and try this area, uh, perhaps you can use some of the information that we have shared and I hope that you will catch big fish like my friend Ryan does. So happy fishing and tight lines! <laughs>